Hello, my name is Kate and this is a Poundland haul. Well, it's kind of a Poundland haul, but not like a brand new one. It's things that I've found from Poundland in my cupboard. So obviously over the years, I've bought quite a lot from Poundland, um, especially the beginning when I started YouTube a couple of years ago, I did Poundland hauls every week for a year. So I gathered quite a lot of Poundland stuff and it was, um, some of it was in my cupboards. So basically this is a video of things I found in my cupboards from Poundland that I haven't used before that I'm now getting around to using because obviously it's locked down and I'm not going to Poundland, I'm just staying home and staying safe. I know it is open but it's quite far from me so I can't just nip there for essentials so I can't kind of justify going there. So I'm going to show you things that I've bought over the years and I'm now getting around to using. So I hope you're okay, sending love to everyone. And this is a collaboration as well with Ewan, Mr. Carrington, another YouTuber who you probably all know. He is, um, he's just fantastic. And he does all kinds of videos, DIYs, he does Poundland hauls. Well, he used to, we all used to, and we will, we will again one day, but just not at the moment. And he does all kinds, basically food, fashion, DIYs, and he loves charity shops and he loves a bargain, but you probably know that anyway. I'll link his account, his um, YouTube account, yeah, his YouTube channel, that's it, in the description. And just in case you don't follow him, you must make sure you subscribe as well. But before I get into the haul, that's not really a haul, but it is kind of, I've got to do my mug of the day. And this is also from Poundland a couple of years ago, I think. So I don't know if you remember when these mugs were out, they had like a few different styles. And I got nearly all of them. There was a strawberry one, like a blue one, and there was a polka dot, like dotty one, and something else. I think there were some lemons on it. I didn't manage to get that one, but I got all the others. So this is my mug of the day. And I've got a decaf coffee because I'm not drinking too much coffee. Well, I'm just drinking decaf at the moment because it made me go a bit funny when I was drinking too much coffee. So I'm just sticking to decaf. What was I going to say? So this is kind of like an Emma Bridgewater style mug, isn't it? I love these. So yeah, I've got my decaf coffee. I'm going to put it down there. And oh, I've forgotten. They were a pound. Oh, I don't know what that was. They were a pound, all those lovely mugs. So I've said hello. I've said it's a collab. And I will link you into video as well in the description. So after you've watched this one, you've got to go over and watch his. But you might have already seen it. So hello if you've watched his video. And I hope you enjoyed it. I'm sure you did. So I'm going to start off with... I found these. So I've got a cupboard. These, these stairs. These, these. These stairs, I'm going to make this a no edit video as well. So I'm just going to keep on, keep on going through the, the weird bits. I have stairs. This is our main bedroom and a few people keep asking about them. They go to the loft. So just in case you were then wondering, what are they? Not, no, you know what they are, but like, where do they go? They go to the loft and there's a little cupboard just down underneath the stairs that go to the loft. And in that cupboard, it was shut for ages because I couldn't actually open it. You don't like, we built the cupboard. Well, Lee's dad built the cupboard like last year. And you can't get into it, so you just leave it shut. You're like, Ugh. so finally got into it. There's a few really good things in there, and some of these candles. So I found like three of them. I think I've only got one with me, but I've got the other two downstairs. So yeah, I've got these to use. So these I've never used these before. This is the current and oakwood luxury candle. I think this was this one was two pounds. It's got they got two wicks or one. I think just the one. So they had. I think they still have them. All these in the range are kind of like a Joe Malone um what's the word dupe joe malone dupe that's the word oh rufus is here as well so he's having a little snore in the corner of the bed we're kind of in the middle actually so i found that so that's my first thing i'm going to show you and i will be using that i've got the others downstairs to use as well in the living room so it's kind of good you know all this well you know it has its the ups of the ups is that the right word or the plus the plus points of the lockdown is that you're using things that you might not necessarily use. So say I, I might go out and buy some other candles, but now I'm using the stuff I already have, which is brilliant because I'm using all like our shower gels and shampoos and candles and things. So that is, that's a good side to it. We're using up what we have. The same with food as well. You're kind of not, we're not buying too much. We're just using what we have in our freezer. We're using what we have in our fridge and just respecting. I think we're just respecting everything a bit more, if that makes any sense at all. I have got a little box from Poundland. So it's like a sort of kind of like Tiffany's, isn't it? That same colour. It's a little gift box that I've kept. I've just kept it. It just keeps, I don't know, it's in my spare room. Then it's suddenly in the room and it's just bouncing around for some reason. So I put some bits in it for this little video. I've got a notepad that I've never, I was going to say worn before, but it's not closed. It's a notepad. So I've never used it before. 
and I think that was from Poundland, I don't know, maybe a year ago. So we will use these again to write little lists and little ideas of things to do. So yes, we've got a little, this is just called a note cube post-it notes with them um, like copper down the side. So that's the first thing or the second thing I'm going to show you, or the third thing because I've shown you the box as well. And then in here, I've got, I don't know if anyone remembers, remembers me buying this quite a while ago, I'd say over a year ago, it's a Batiste or Batiste de Hide Me Root Concealer. So Batiste do all the dry shampoos, don't they? Which I, I do use. And then when I saw this, I think it was in Norwich, it's a Hide Me Root Concealer and it says instantly disguises roots for medium brown hair. And I haven't used this, I just kept it. I was kind of with all my makeup. Sorry, Toby's just given me a biscuit before I started this video. So hang on, I'll just go have a bit of my coffee and then I'll, I'll carry on. Okay, that should be better. Um, right, so yeah, I bought this. Oh no, I've got an itchy nose now. Uh, right, okay, I'll keep going because it's a no edit one and I can't then edit that bit out. So I saw this and thought, oh, and then I had to go. And it's so much better. So why have I not used that before? You know, sometimes you just put, put things away and I should have used it. So this is what it looks like. It's kind of almost like makeup, like an like an eyebrow thing. You know, some people do their eyebrows, but it's for your hair. And this is really good because I've got quite a prominent scalp. I think it's got dark hair and quite pale skin. It's just to like touch up your roots. So if you could color, say if you had some greys, you just color in the greys. And then let me just try here. So you go over the actual hair, but it's also really good for like a prominent scalp. Or if you've got any patches that you are worried that might look a bit see-through, then they can kind of cover them up. I did it the other day though, and I think I did it too much. No one commented on it. It was in a video and I just thought I looked like I've just dyed my hair or something around my, around my face, but no one noticed, I don't think. But when I was younger, so this is really good if you're worried about any slight bald patches, or you only put your hair up and you have a bit of scalp showing. This is really good because it will literally just colour it in. And when I was younger, I've not spoken about this before. I have meant to, but I just haven't got around to it. When I was younger, I had alopecia. So at the back of my hair, I had, it was when I was 25, a huge, I say huge, like a round bit. Say this, I'm not doing a very good job of a big, uh, I don't know. Oh, here we go. My lip balm. A section, that's bigger than that. Okay. Oh, this will do. So this is a section about this much of my hair at the back there fell out. I don't really know why. It was hereditary. When my mum was around the same age, her hair fell out. So I had a big bald patch at the back of my head, just kind of there. And it was really strange. It was when I was 25. So I was more into sort of, I don't know. I was just, I obviously would be, if it happened again, I'd be really, I'd probably be the same, but it was just a really strange thing to happen out of nowhere. So it's completely bald and I was really paranoid about it. And I kind of thought, right, it's going to take over my whole, I didn't know what was going to happen, but basically it grew back. I was so grateful about six months later, it started to grow back and then it was finally covered. I had another bit that went as well. So I had two bits, two patches of alopecia at the back of my head. And this is like 15 years ago. They both grew back, but I was really at the time really um, paranoid. If anyone was behind me, I didn't. I just felt really sort of worried about my little patch of alopecia. And I know it's normal; it does happen to people, and it's just a really strange thing. It was really I don't know. It was because your hair's everything, is it? Your hair's kind of your crown. But if I had this, then I'd have probably, like when it was growing back, just added this in to cover up the little bald bits. But I do get paranoid still about the front of my hair. And I think this kind of thing, oh, this is a long time spent on one product, but I think that's a really good thing to um, to use so you're not as worried. Because sometimes I do get worried about the front of my hair. And in the sun, sometimes the sun shines onto your scalp and then you look like you've got some hair missing. So this is a brilliant product for that kind of thing. And it helps you worry less and it sort of, you know, get rid of your greys. But I just thought that was brilliant. I think Emma Willis, you know, the presenter Emma Willis, she had a similar thing where she had some hair fall out and then she would put in a colour to add, to make it look thicker. So I'm really grateful that I bought that and put it away and now I'm finally using it because then any little patches I have, I can fill it in and then no one will see. I don't, it just makes me feel a bit better. Um, I will do, if anyone wants a proper video on, on sort of what happened when I had alopecia, just let me know because I have thought about doing it and then I just, I didn't for some reason. 
I'm not sure why I just I couldn't really find the words but I think it's important to put to talk about things like that because it's what you know it's, it's what you go through sometimes and it can be really um it can be really worrying okay right so this morning it wasn't this morning actually it was about an hour ago I put on some false eyelashes because I normally get extensions eyelash extensions and um I uh they all fell out that's what I'm trying to say and I go every like three to four weeks normally but I haven't had them put on for like 10 weeks I think it is so 10 weeks ago was my last eyelash extension appointment so they all kind of fell out over the last however many weeks and then I put on some natural ones today so I've got a vlog on Sunday which I show you what ones I use and and I apply them. I didn't show that bit because I just never done it before. But I'm talking about it in a vlog for Sunday. And I bought these a while ago, I think, when Ewan, oh, Ewan came to visit and we were doing like a pamper package. I'm so grateful I did buy them because they look amazing. You might have used these before if you use false eyelashes. So the Fern, oh, I'm just dropping everything. The Fern McCann, um, I think I've got Rufus's fluff on my nose. Fern McCann London Bay Natural Eyelashes one pair with the glue but they look a lot longer than the ones that I had been well I used today because you can't they're not that um what's the word full they're just they are quite natural which they say they are so they look really good so I've got two packets of these eyelashes which I'll definitely use so I think the more you do things the more you get better at them so I've got those I wanted to show you them as well and then as I was having a clear out in my spare room I found this. So this is Makeup Accessory False Eyelash Applicator. So I'll have to work out to tell me how to use it. No, but that's probably going to help. I think you, they're like tweezers, but you put your eyelashes in them. So hopefully that will help me apply them. So there's that as well. And yeah, I definitely got that when I was with Ewan. So I'll be using all these bits. I'm so glad that I'm a bit of a I know what's what did I call it the other day I keep a holder I keep hold of things I'm really grateful I, I have because obviously these are things I'm using now and then I've also got in my box I've got like this Poundland box of things that I found when I was having a declutter a selfie stick so I can use that one of those oh or maybe it does. oh yeah it does so one of those selfie stick things which I haven't used before and that was a pound I think most of these things were a pound I don't know if that was Pound World. Do you remember Pound World? Oh, I think that's such a long time ago. That could have been Pound World. I don't think it was Poundland. It could have been, but I found those, so I shall use those as well. In my diary, some little sticky note things. I've got some nail, what are they called? Nail um, files. So I'll start using those little unicorn nail files because sometimes it's better to file your nails than chop them, isn't it, with scissors. So I've got those I can use as well and some i've never used these before i don't even know when i bought them so these are like donut things when you style your hair up and obviously i, I wear my hair down a lot because i don't really like it up i don't like my face being on show too much for some reason and i think because i haven't got very thick hair either i think that was why the other batiste stuff is good because i've got quite thin hair i used to have a lot thicker hair when i was younger but this kind of got a bit thinner as i've got older this is fine as long as it's still there that's the main thing um, so yeah but this is good because you can put it in your hair then style it around it to make it look more full so I'm all about the things that like the little tricks that help you so I'll probably have a go using those at some point because why not because when I put my hair up in a knot thing it looks it's like a little I don't know it doesn't look, it's not a lot basically so maybe I could pretend there was more hair by using these things too many donut no too many hair donuts so if you have any tips with these, let me know. I think you do a ponytail, put one of them on and then, you know, put your clips around it. So yeah, I've got that I can use, which is quite exciting. Another notebook. I've bought so many notebooks over the years so I can I can use this as well. I do use notebooks all the time. I write so many lists and ideas and different things. So yeah, a little notebook from Poundland that I found. Some makeup. I've bought so much makeup over the last couple of years from Poundland and I use it all the time. And then I saw this in my makeup thing. I thought, oh, I've not used that at all. It's still boxed. It's a Model Zone Matte Liquid Lipstick. Let's have a look at this. I don't normally like um, matte. Well, that looks good, though. So it's a bright red one. Hang on a sec. And what does it say on it? Lix Matte Liquid Lipstick. Shall I just have a go? Oh, we're all false. 
So I've got a bit of a pink on at the moment. I can't really see what I'm doing. Maybe I shouldn't do this at all. I don't know if I suit red. I've started it now. Where's that little mirror? Oh no. Oh Rufus, why did I start this? I should have just shown it. Okay, I'll just put a little bit on with this mirror and then I'll carry on the haul. Maybe it can, can you get matte moisturising ones or not? All right. Is this one of the stained ones? One of my bright red lips. Oh, why did I start this? Okay, I'll just keep going. I'll just keep going. Okay. Oh, real fast. Okay. Oh no, I've got on my teeth. That's always good. Oh no. Ah. All right. Okay. That's probably a bit boring. What's that like? Is that quite nice? I don't. Does red lipstick make your lips look a bit thinner though? I don't know. All right. That will do. That actually feels quite nice. There we go. Got my red lipstick on. So that was that. That was that. So using it, which is the main aim for this video and what I'm trying to do at the moment. So red lipstick. Okay, I found these in my little box as well. And these are just parasol. Are these parasol lights? Oh, that's good. So they go onto your parasol, but they're kind of like little plastic things. And then there's some lights at the bottom, LED bulbs, wire length, 195 centimetres, and they're warm white. See, back then I didn't really know what I was buying. I just like warm light now rather than warm white. So I might actually give these, put these in my charity shop bag. So someone else that likes warm white lights can use them. I'll test them because they might be the right colour. But I prefer just like, you know, flame coloured lights rather than the white bright white i did used to like any really i think i liked the white ones when i a few years ago also found these little votive citronella candles so i shall be using these and there's just two candles with a little like glass candle holder so we use it more outside as well and some blackboard paint which is really handy because we're going to i don't know if we could use this oh no i suppose i'll keep hold of this actually and when we make some blackboards for our wedding, which I don't think is going to be happening this year, we might just postpone it to next year. So we're meant to be getting married in July, but it's looking kind of unlikely. So it's fine. Like, I'm not sad about it. It gives me another year to, like, buy things and look for things and plan. And we can kind of get the garden a bit more finished as well. So I might keep hold of this and, you know, do a you and made one of those DIY signs with an old picture. So I could always use that to do that kind of thing, keep it for a project for the future, for our wedding. Oh, this is a bit, oh, oh no, it's a bit, um, it's gone a bit thick. I don't really like matte ones. I don't know why I bought it then, but, um, you know, I've tried, I've tried. If you like matte lipstick, let me know, are you more of a moisturiser? I prefer a moisturiser, you eyes one. Right, my last two things in this Poundland, old Poundland haul. Um, so I've got some string bottle lights. I bought loads of these. Not last summer, the summer before, and we put them everywhere in our garden. They were lovely. And I just found those. Obviously, I didn't put those up, so I'll put them somewhere. They, again, say cool white. No, cool glow. So that's going to be more white, isn't it? So I think I'll probably donate these to the charity shop, although they are absolutely lovely. I'm sure someone else will love them more than me because I just like having all the same lights rather than having white and then warm, if that makes any sense. I didn't even know about any of this until um, until Instagram and YouTube. I had no idea whatsoever. I just thought lights were just, just bought lights. I didn't know there was different tones. I didn't know about white and warm. And then the final thing I'm going to show you are these little manicure sets so nail clippers and toenail clippers and I bought these for a present I think I think I ended up keeping all of them no I think I gave some to my mum and then I bought another couple of pairs and kept them because I am using I think I've still got this one somewhere but they go missing as well don't they these things so I've got those as well which are really handy so I'm just cut my nails my toenails and my fingernails and file them so these will be good for my toes I suppose I do need to give them a little trim because we've been doing Joe Wicks workouts every day and then when your toenails grow, they start to hurt, don't they, when you're wearing your trainers. So I'll give me toenails a little clip later. So that's the last thing I'm going to show you in my Poundland haul. Just this little nail set. So that is everything. There's a few other things dotted about. And maybe I can show them during a vlog or something. But everything else I kind of use 
which is good. And anything I don't, I'm going to donate. So once the charity shops open, open eventually, they're going to be full, aren't they? So I'm not sure what's going to be happening, but they'll have lots of donations. So that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Still not sure about this um, lip stuff. It's quite restrictive. I don't know. I don't know. What do you think? I don't even know if it suits me. It might be a bit much. But I hope you enjoyed this video and I went into alopecia and talked about all kinds of different things. But that's real life, isn't it? So I just thought I'd mention those. And if you did want a proper video on it, then just let me know and I can I can probably film that as well. Let me know your favourite item in this haul and yeah, that's it. And make sure you go and watch Ewan's video, Mr Carrington. I'll link it in the description and make sure you subscribe to him. Subscribe to me as well. And if you did enjoy the video, give it a like and I will speak to you very soon. I've got a video for Sunday. I'm doing different videos now. So I was, I was doing, I was, I was filming, I was doing videos every day. Now I'm doing three a week. Um, so I hope that's okay. So my upload schedule now is Wednesdays, Fridays, and Sundays, normally at eight in the morning, apart from this one, because this went on at four o'clock. But I hope you enjoyed the video. Come over to Instagram as well. I'm Kate McCabe, and my house account is Kate's Homely Home, and there will be links in the description if you want to come and say hello there. But have a lovely weekend, and I will speak to you soon. Bye.